Chuck Top fan. Whoa! What is going on, guys? It is your boy Rish. Thank you for tuning in to another video. As always, we are with the TSXs because you know we stay with the TSXs. We're gonna start off with this one. So I had to adjust the clutch. That's what I'm gonna start with. I'm only doing like quarter turns at a time, so I could really see what's kind of going on i just know the clutch is done so i gotta replace it it's been slipping on me a lot more lately it's hard to get like the engagement to start off the line i feel like i'm basically riding the clutch practically every single time no matter what i do with the adjustment it just kind of doesn't get right you know how you're supposed to lift off the clutch it's already kind of grabbing and initiating and already pulling the car well that doesn't really happen on this one kind of grabs all the way out here and then you got to give it gas for it to really start rolling so it's just not doing what it's supposed to do tsx right there we got bad babies right here i'm also going to remove this decal I kind of up on it and also i'm not that big on decals on my car at least like my daily and stuff i'm just trying to keep this clean and really like word free so this was like a first i was just trying to support the homies for a little bit kind of fucked up insulation so that's another reason i'm gonna get the heat gun out real quick and see you know how easy it is to remove hopefully it's, you know smooth sailing and then i'm gonna go on in the inside and try to see if we could remove that film right this thing right here i am definitely returning back to harbor freight because it just really wasn't doing what i wanted it to and the belt as you can see where we left off it keeps falling off so i'm not dealing with it i used it for literally like maybe a total of like three minutes if that you know and i did more messing with it trying to put on the belt tighten up the system more i'd rather use my hands it was a lot quicker than messing with this crap it just whatever so yeah i'm gonna return that get my like i don't know 50 bucks back or whatever the hell it was if you guys had any luck using this thing, like, you, do you guys like it? I guess it has its purposes, but for my purpose, it wasn't doing what I wanted to. Boy. Oh, shit. Oh, god damn. I just made a realization. So I ended up buying some mobile 5W30 and putting that in. I'm not go back to using that, whatever I need to top off my oil again i completely forgot about that um i know i gotta clean this thing up but now yeah, i want to look at this guy right here so i got my little blade and my little mama's right here and then i just try to use a heat gun and remove that crap shut top fam gosh no no disrespect to the homies at speed zone but yeah i'm just not the biggest fan of decals in general it's a little bit easier without the heat but the real challenge is going to be the inside and trying to get that other crazy film off that's uh, the other challenge Even easier method to get this thing off is using a razor blade and be smart. Easily lift it all up instead of me trying to use my finger like a smart guy. Oh look, and you can do that. Place that down. Whoa! No, no way, dude! And just like that, nice fresh and clean surface again. Uh, to get off the adhesion, I just got some glass cleaner and used the razor blade and it came off pretty pretty easily. I mean, you could tell the difference when it's smooth and not, you know, it's getting stuck up on something. Now, we're going to attempt the difficult part, which is the whole mess of the inside. You could see, like, I think that's it. You know, like the bubbleness and whatnot. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a fucking pain. Well, let's start. Let's see what happens here we are back again the very next day a baby girl here it almost seems like we never left because same spot air down the engine bay because i had a little bit of sand sitting in places and shit i'm gonna adjust the clutch just a little bit because i didn't get around to doing that yesterday i'm gonna do it right now real quick a little bit and see if it helps because i've literally i've been riding the clutch practically every day especially on hills and just 
getting off the gas like it just feels like shit man it's honestly super annoying and i wish i had another daily or running car or whatever so i can do the clutch ready on this thing not worry about it as much i gotta keep riding it out until i don't know a good enough weekend to just bang it out and hopefully i don't need anything or need to go anywhere I don't know. pain in the ass so i adjusted it just a little bit i'm doing like quarter turns just to see what it does so I really got to put some Loctite on here so we he stop shifting on me. Still got to fix the first to second detent spring. That's for show. If you guys are interested in this setup, hybrid racing short shifter, Maven, Maven, shift knob, countersunk, really sleek. And the clear shifter plate is from bmo.co9 on IG. And you guys can use my, I think, I think it's either 10 or 15. I believe it's a 10 percent off code RISH. Save yourself a couple dollars buying that clear shifter plate cover. I know he's got that, and I know that Tommy LA, he's got the carbon shifter plates. So if you guys want the clear ones or the carbon ones, those are your two guys right now. Since I get asked this all the time, here are my wheels. This is the setup, this is how it looks. Stock arms in the front and the rear, nothing crazy. Koenig Hypergrams and 18, eight and a half, plus 35 with 225 40 tires nothing crazy all stock stock as could be but a lot of you guys tend to like my setup like the fitment even though the fitment could be much much better you know given it has some camber arms and shit yeah there it is 18 8 and a half plus 35 koenig hypergrams 225 40 there is a size there's the tires i get asked this almost like every other day kind of thing so i just kind of periodically try to put it out there but i do need a new set of wheels and tires neighborhood's going around trick-or-treating already we're definitely slacking this year thought about it last minute to do so yeah they're starting some super tedious shit here guys yeah i guess this is actually working out a little bit better than using the heat gun it caused me some issues with the whole heater lines in the rear windshield but at the moment we are in florida there's so much shit i have to reverse on this car that past owners have done so it seems to be working much better with spray away or windex i'm sure maybe windex would be better because this you know has like alcohol kind of like symptoms so it kind of dries out not really you know so yeah your boy's kind of giving up because this shit is taking forever maybe i'll do it day by day or something i've honestly been tackling it for I don't know, like 20 minutes or something and barely got shit done. Like it does not want to come off. I might just have to buy the steamer and return it or hope for the best or something. Not a good time, y'all. All I'm smelling right now is like burning fucking clutch. Something today just triggered and feels even shittier. No matter what I do with the adjustment, I put in the clutch and it's just chirping and just fucking squealing throughout bearing it just shot smelling clutch consistently i've been trying to adjust the clutch and it doesn't really do anything different it still gives the throat bearing chirpiness <sighs> screeching and all that why because this is my daily i don't know how else to get around car keeps dying out <sighs> your boy gotta work i gotta work God, fucking damn dude legit so frustrated just like one thing after another man so the only thing right about now i can do is just kind of bleed the clutch and see if that helps at all hopefully it does something because i just have to lug it out champ it out till tomorrow go to work figure out what to do on for friday and yeah just i gotta figure it out i want to have oem throw out bearing which ironically i was supposed to buy everything else that i needed tomorrow which is like the flywheel bolts new ones oem oem throw out bearing but today this happens so um I have some aftermarket throwout bearing laying around. Might have to just toss that in. Unless Acura dealership has throwout bearing in stock somehow and maybe a pilot bushing. Yeah, no fun, no fun. Oh, that means car raffle time. See if I win a daily. Blood the clutch right quick. We're just gonna go take it for a spin. Let's see how it's feeling. And I adjusted the pedal a little bit prior. So I don't know, man, it sucks. Definitely not, you know, 
I got the car jacked up here. I don't know exactly what the issue is just yet. Go underneath, I didn't see anything. Transmission is a little noisy when I spin this because the axle, you know. It sounds like it's kind of normal, kind of a little extra loud, but when I came over here, and you hear a little something. bearing because that's that's definitely probably what i'm hearing while i'm driving like scraping kind of noise so i'm gonna take off the wheel real quick and see if i hear anything further with the wheel off all right so i didn't really figure out exactly what that is i don't want to go and taking off more shit like the brake caliper and dumbing it down some more and spinning it and see if it's within the caliper, you know, situation or a wheel bearing or the axle itself. Cause I was seeing a little bit of grease. I don't know if the OEM axle that I swapped out is starting to act up too. And then I adjusted the clutch just a little bit more to put it further into the clutch master. So I think it has more travel room and just hope for the best. Hopefully it just bandages it and keeps me pushing until like this weekend or something. I can bang out the job or whatever you know so we'll see of course we need another daily for the daily so we don't have to deal with situations like this and make things more stressful because obviously it's not fun because it is the daily my only driving car at the moment yeah uh i guess we have to look into more you know seriously another car but shit is expensive out here we're gonna leave it off there guys so take it easy it is super quiet out here it's almost like 10 p.m i gotta go back inside finally eat settle down shower or whatever and start up again tomorrow and hopefully this thing is gonna treat me right it's gonna last until the weekend and we're gonna be good all right all right peace i never take a day off work around the clock my engineer getting paid off rock like ace up like the weed and take off <laughs>